Researchers from Intermountain Healthcare played a major role in a new study that adds further evidence that COVID-19 vaccines are highly effective in helping people stay out of the hospital, including the ICU and emergency department. Joining us today to talk more about this is Dr. Eddie Stenium, an Intermountain Healthcare infectious disease doctor who took part in the study. Doctor, thanks for being with us today. Walk us through the main findings of this study. What does it say? Yeah, the studies that we've done here within Intermountain Healthcare um, and within our communities here in Utah really give us um, great confidence in the vaccines we have for COVID-19. The studies show that the vaccines work incredibly effectively um, in, at preventing hospitalizations, preventing ED visits, and preventing urgent care visits. And we've seen that now over the course of months, um, and we really have great confidence in these vaccines. Now, in the study, Johnson & Johnson and Pfizer's vaccines seem to have lost effectiveness over time, while Moderna's did not. Should people be concerned about that? Yeah, the first study we did showed that um, all the vaccine types prevented hospitalizations at very high rates, and that was at a time that was before the Delta variant. The second study that has come out now shows that the Moderna vaccine um, has higher rates um, of preventing um, hospitalizations compared to Pfizer and compared to J&J. &J. Now, the difference between those vaccine type is unclear, especially the differences between Pfizer and Moderna, which is really the same vaccine type. Um, but we definitely have seen a decrement in the vaccine effectiveness in Pfizer and J&J &J over time. Now, this is really one of the main reasons why we need people to go out and get booster shots to really boost that vaccine effectiveness up, um, particularly for Pfizer and J&J. &J. And now data showing that Moderna should also get a booster as well. A uh, couple of questions here. If you have already had the Johnson & Johnson uh, vaccine or the Pfizer vaccine, should you jump ship and go to Moderna because it seems to be a little more effective over time? So the majority of the studies that we have in terms of boosting keeps people within their same vaccine series. And so the studies we have shows that if you boost the Pfizer primary series with a Pfizer booster, we have great vaccine effectiveness and comes back up to those initial levels. Same thing with J&J. &J. The data we have with J&J &J and getting a J&J &J boost shows that you get up to those levels um, that are approximately 90% vaccine effectiveness. We don't have a lot of great data of mixing and matching. We know that it's safe, and we know that um, in people's blood, it increases your antibody levels. Now, what that means clinically in terms of boosting and what strategy is better than another, we don't know yet. So for the majority of people, um, assuming that they have access to all the different vaccine types, um, we'd recommend sticking with your primary series. But there's going to be for people that may need to switch due to underlying medical conditions, and we'd really encourage people to talk to their primary care clinicians um, about whether or not a switch is right for you. And finally, as we get closer to the 5 to 11-year-old children's age group uh, coming online and being able to get the booster shot, or not the booster shot, but the initial vaccine shots, um, how does this study play into that dynamic, adding that uh, age group, 5 to 11 years old? Yeah, that's it's really exciting for us now with the FDA initially coming out um, today, approving this um, in 5 to 11 year olds. Granted, it still needs to go to the CDC and ACIP, but really exciting announcement today that suggests that um, we can be vaccinated in our children and the 5 to 11 year olds very, very quickly. Um, in our studies that we've done, we obviously haven't included that age group um, because vaccine hasn't been available. But that uh, patient age group will be added to our study and we'll be following that really closely as we move forward and we start vaccinating the kids 5 to 11. So we hope that we can continue to report to the state of Utah um, the effectiveness of these vaccines really in all age groups now. All right, Dr. Eddie Stenium from Intermountain Healthcare, thanks so much for being part of Wellness Wednesday. Thanks for having me.